Yes, I mean, this definitely reminds you of back in the day of Rodney King. The fact that he kept on getting beat up, Kyrie Nichols, these officers surrounded him, just kept on punching him, kept on one officer who kicked him when he was totally, like, just submissive. So it just doesn't make any sense. While this is the classic definition of what you call excessive force. And I can see why the grand jury indicted these officers based upon looking at this video. I'm sure the grand jury, when they watched this video, said this is definitely a murder. This is definitely a reason why we have laws to protect people. And the fact that these officers repeatedly, repeatedly kicked him, punched him, when he was just laying there. It's just, it's, just, it's just unspeakable. I don't, I, don't, I don't even know what to say. It's, yeah. just, it's, just, it's just heartbreaking. You know, ben, um, what about the order of things? Uh, we have seen, uh, unfortunately, incidents like this. Does the body camera footage release usually come before or after the grand jury and the charges? Uh, walk us through that order. Was this peculiar to you in any respect? This was very fast. Yeah. Yeah, so, so, that, so the viewers understand how it works. A grand jury is a group of people. They don't know each other. It's just like doing jury duty. But they are part of a group that goes into a room and a prosecutor presents evidence. And some of the evidence could be um, the body camera footage. Some of the evidence could be testimony from people. And so these grand jurors most likely saw the body camera footage. The grand jury is a secret proceeding. So nobody knows that it's happening. But once the grand jury sees the video, sees all the evidence, then they decide what charges to bring for these officers. And they brought murder charges, and then the next step will be the prosecutor. Once the prosecutor gets the grand jury's indictment, they go ahead and announce it to the public, and as you see, they were charged, they were fired, and here we are today. You know, in the future, there will be a, a court date, and these officers will be assigned a criminal defense attorney, and the prosecutor will prosecuting these officers, so these officers have pretty much two choices. They can take a plea agreement, or they can go to trial and try to see if the jury says innocence or guilt. Yeah. Ben, uh, we know four of the five officers charged in this have been released from jail after posting bond. Uh, we also heard from the Memphis, Tennessee police chief, uh, C.J. Davis. She was uh, on CNN earlier today. She says they have, quote, not been able to substantiate that Tyree Nichols was driving recklessly prior to this confrontation, this uh, fatal uh, beating by police. Uh, that's definitely going to be, I guess, a line of inquiry as this investigation goes further, right? Yes, under the law, the police have to pull you over for a bad act. It's what's called probable cause or reasonable suspicion. If the officers don't have probable cause to pull you, pull you over, or you didn't commit a bad act, that's going to be very detrimental in the trial. So if you have a police chief saying that these officers should never have pulled over to Tyree Nichols, that means if he was never pulled over, he would still be alive today and he wouldn't be dead. And the fact that they maybe illegally pulled him over is a big fact of why did they pull him over in the first place? Why did they beat him up? And why is he dead today? You know, Ben, you probably have poured over numerous body camera footage uh, in the course of your career, but we were treated today to footage from a, a different vantage point. Some of the poll camera footage, a bird's eye view, unfortunately, uh, of the beating itself uh, and the very, very long delays in rendering aid. Um, that almost spoke more uh, to the body camera footage. Uh, the body camera footage is a very difficult vantage point to make sense of. Um, but that pole camera was plain as day, full on view. Do you think that is what prosecutors are going to be, I guess, relying on mostly as they try to make this case? Yes, I mean, the pole camera was very clear. A lot of times body camera footage, it falls off, it falls down, but having a pole camera there, it allows people to actually see what actually happened. So that's what the jury's going to be right up on. Juries want clean evidence. They want clear evidence. They want to, they, they want to win their case, prosecutors. So they're going to use the best evidence they have. And if the poll camera's the best evidence, that'll be the evidence that you'll see in the future when this goes to trial. Um, ben, I want to talk to you about uh, this term because we've been showing events all over the country uh, throughout the day here, Sacramento, Chicago, 